I'd like to take you th through some of the basics of forecasting. And the best way to look at a forecast is just really to plot out the data over time. So it's called time series data in a contact center. Monthly uh, information is quite good to look at. And what you'll see here is that you've got a, a sort of interesting pattern of data here. This shows basically both a trend line. You can see stuff going up over time. And actually, the trend here seems reasonably uh, consistent over time, it does seem to accelerate a little bit away towards the end. And what you'll spot is that there's also some seasonality. So for instance, every December, there's actually a little bit of drop off in traffic. This may well be because the uh, contact center is closed during that period. So the first thing you need to do in forecasting is to really try and break the whole forecast down into three different components. And that is what's called level, which is the level that you're at currently. The trend, which is the difference between one period and the next. And if you take the level and trend together, you can form a trend line, which is the overall approach. And also to look at the seasonality. That is, how much does things vary over season? Once you've done that, you can do something like make then a weekly or an annual forecast based on that. So you can see, for instance, here's a, uh, a monthly plot of data. And you can see that this does seem to have some form of some form of trend over time. This is looking about um, about three and a half years worth of worth of data. And you can see that there is some degree of seasonality here. That, for instance, on the 12th month, it seems to be down. So there seems to be a bit of an anomaly anomaly here. So you've got the uh, you've got the, the data. The first thing you can do to that is try and work out some form of trend line. This is a linear trend line that we've uh, we've applied here. Once you've uh, got the linear trend line, you need to then try and determine some form of seasonal pattern. So you try and get a some form of regular seasonality being added to adding to that data. And then what you once you've built your seasonality model and once you've built your trend line, you can use that data then to predict off into the future. And one of the common mistakes that a lot of people tend to do uh, is working out seasonality is to basically say, look at 12 months worth of data. And one of the things they do is, for instance, here's a whole load of uh, contacts uh, from data. This is uh, made up data. So what you see here is that you've got a you know, lower number of contacts in January, higher in December, and you basically add all of that together. That gives you a number for the annual contact volume. You then work that out as being 100%. And then to that, you can work out a percentage. And then if you say you take the average of you know, one twelfth of that, you could then work out a seasonality figure starting 62%, 130%. Two percent. So that's a, a, one thing that a lot of people do. There is one problem with this, and that's that that's assuming that this data goes down. What you see here is that generally, at the beginning of the year, the numbers are lower, and the end of the year, it's higher. So what you've got to work out is that you have to work out what the trend component is of that. So what you have to do is you first of all need to detrend and then de-seasonalize the data. So you then effectively work out, so work out what your trend is, take your trend, remove the trend from your data, and then work out what your percentage seasonality is over the year. 